This is why we love the NFL. We love the NFL offseason. Shout out to Mike Williams, Chargers wide receiver, by the way. They said he signed a three-year, $60 million deal. So 20 mil per. So one of the better wide receivers who was looking like he was going to hit the market, he won't be. But anyway, the it, it was said that the Broncos were very interested in possibly acquiring one Aaron Rodgers. But as we all know, it came out today that Rodgers signed a four-year, $200 million deal. Uh, we'll see what the details are on that in the future. But bottom line, he ain't going anywhere. So coincidentally, hours after that, the, it's announced that the Broncos are trading with the Seahawks to acquire one Russell Wilson. And I guess they figured, you know what? If we couldn't beat him, then we got to have him join us. Because you all remember that Super Bowl back in, I think, what, 2013? Whenever it was. But anyway, uh, and this really, like, sets the Broncos up nice. Because their team, like, when you look at their team, you look at their receivers, like a Jerry Judy. Uh, you look at a um, Sutton. Uh, you, and I know there's a third one. I can, I can never remember his name. But then you look at guys like Javante Williams. I remember me being a Ravens fan. I remember him literally carrying the Ravens defense for like 20 yards on a play. Um, but then you look at their, their defense, the Broncos defense. Like, and then the possibility of Von Miller. Von Miller been playing with Broncos fans, man. He been playing with Broncos fans, teasing them. We'll, we'll see if anything happens. But you look at that team and they were literally a quarterback away. Literally. Oof, man, shout out to Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater. Poor guys. But they were literally a quarter. That was the only thing that they were missing. That's why when you heard about Aaron Rodgers possibly going to the Broncos, it just seemed like it just made so much sense. And then on top of that, there were the rumors that they were possibly looking at uh, Devontae Adams as well. But you got to figure if they would have got Devontae Adams, then they would have came, of, came up off of one of their wide receivers. But they ain't even got to worry about that anymore. Because now they got Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, it, it had been rumored that he could be traded from Seattle. Even though he had been saying a lot of the, the right things and whatnot. Because you know Russell Wilson, he ain't going to throw nobody under the bus. But Russell Wilson, hey, I want to stay in Seattle. I want to be in Seattle. I, I, I want to be here the, for the foreseeable future. But you know, all the meanwhile, in the background, he like, get me up out of here. These guys, they can't draft worth nothing. I've been really trying to do something. They ain't been letting me cook. Let, let, let me go somewhere to where I'll be more appreciated. And that's a big trade. That is a big trade. Because as we all know, Russell Wilson, he's been with the Seahawks for a minute. And I, I always love Russell Wilson's story because he got drafted by the Seahawks the year that they signed Matt Flynn from the Packers, who he had this one five touchdown game for the Packers, and that set him up in free agency nice. They had signed Matt Flynn to this big contract, and then – they drafted Russell Wilson, but I, I just loved how Seattle didn't let the money uh, take over for a smart decision. And what I mean when I say that is they could have been like, all right, we paid this guy, Matt Flynn, all this money. He's going to be our starter. No, they clearly saw that Russell Wilson was the better quarterback and that he, given, he, gave, he gave them a better opportunity to win. So they went with young Russell Wilson over Matt Flynn, who they just signed to that big money deal. And it obviously worked out for them in the long run. Got a Super Bowl win. Two Super Bowl appearance, appearances, um, and just a lot of good football. But lately, it seemed like the relationship was sort of getting a little sour, and it had run its course, and now he's in Denver. So Russell Wilson, he doesn't even have to go there and be this MVP Russell Wilson. He, he ain't even got to do that. But all he has to do is just be a good enough quarterback to where he's not throwing a bunch of interceptions, to where he's taking care of the ball, uh, to where he's obviously getting touchdowns too, but he, he doesn't even have to be this like crazy all-pro Russell because the, the team that's built around him is nice, man. It's nice. So he can go there. He ain't even got to cook that much. I mean, he could just put something in the microwave a little bit. He ain't even got to cook much though. Uh, but this is such a good situation for him. Now the only thing we got to see is if Sierra approves. We out.